All right, on this tutorial, we're gonna go over the basic flight maneuvers inside of a plane. Um, we're gonna talk about left and right turn to decrease increase altitude. I do tight turn. I do uh, bank or close terrain flying, um, and then how to do control stalls. With all of that though, um, that all factors into gravity. How gravity is simulated in Arma. Why does that matter? Um, well, it matters because you can actually pass out. Um, and if you don't understand how uh, gravity affects flight in Arma, then you really don't understand the capability of an airplane. So, um, I'll show you kind of real quick what a tight turn looks like. You'll see how gravity plays in that effect. So, I'm trying to turn as much as I can. You see the screen starts to go black. Um, that's replicating gravity, g-force. Um, what g-force is, is essentially turning how much is gravity pulling on you. Um, and essentially that takes oxygen and blood away from your brain um, in real life and causes you to pass out and a bunch of other different health conditions. So, um, in our mind, just make sure you don't pass out so you don't fly into the ground. Um, you understand the capabilities of that. Now that we're in the air, we're going to go ahead and do um, just left and right turns here. Uh, there's two ways you can do left or right turn. Um, first is you can just do kind of a dip. You just start to dip our wing here, and holding S a little bit, making sure that it's not just going straight into the ground. And we're starting to just do a simple, smooth right turn. Now I can also do that by hitting my pedal, my right pedal. Press E. I'm starting to turn here. Not as much, but in a slightly different fashion. So I can combine both of them, and it goes much more deep. That's really more of a tight turn. Um, left turn, same thing. And dip the wing. Um, S, so we're not going down. Or I can just press E and have that rudder in the back press against the air and push us to the left. Okay. Um, decreasing altitude. Simple. All I gotta do is orient the nose of the air, uh, aircraft. How much altitude I wanna lose? Um, a little bit. Or a lot. Like small increments of adjustment. Um, head mounted display here. Go out to different degrees. Um, we're increasing altitude. Really, really basic stuff. Nothing, nothing too complicated with this. Now if I'm doing a tight turn, as I mentioned before, I'm going to hit um, the pedal and dip my wing, um, and I'm going to pull back as well on the stick, and then I'll get it as tight as possible. Now when I'm doing this, I need to really pay attention to where the G-force is affecting, because if it goes fully black, I'm going to pass out. So you need to do as tight a turn as possible, um, and you really need to play the gambit. If you do a tight turn, then don't push it as hard as you need. Go ahead and demonstrate doing a tight turn. Screen is starting to go black. Overcorrect. That's what will happen. Nice small adjustments. Key. Screen goes a little black. Hold it for a second. Let the oxygen go back to your head. And you're good to go. Do a tight left turn. Turn Q and S. The screen is really starting to go black, and even after I stop moving, it'll keep going. That's fine. Um, just hold it for a second. You have altitude that you can shed, like the oxygen go back, and you can keep That one, I almost passed out, so you kind of have to get used to where that G4 setting is. Um, not too hard, just a little bit different in, air, in each airframe. Now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and decrease our altitude and flying. Now if I'm more concerned with making sure I'm not crashing in the ground, it'll possible I might move my camera view forward. It makes it a little bit easier to see the nose, see that dot right there. That was the head-up display of where my nose is going to be if I don't change anything. Light pattern. As I'm going lower here, I can use that as a fine-tuned instrument on the terrain. I mean, 
making sure that, hey, I am on the right angle so I don't crash into the mountain or crash into a tree or whatever. Um, here, the automated flight controls will sometimes say pull up, pull up, pull up. That's something to keep in mind. It doesn't always mean you're going down in the ground, but it does have some effects. You can see it keeps saying pull up, but I'm crashing, so um, you have to understand that capability with whatever airframe it you're flying. And of course, it's always good to know, like, don't just guess the terrain, right? If you're going to be doing unique flying, understand what's coming up next. Because if you're flying up a ridges like that, if you don't understand what's coming up next, then uh, that could very easily turn into a crash. So that's Nate flying. Go ahead and grab some more altitude here. I press 5 on my numpad and that will reset my view. Now we're just going to do a side to side flying. That's kind of what we call it, but um, all that is is just turning to one side maneuvering a little bit, turning to another side, very basic flight movement um, when you're in the back. That can help with you getting not detected, um, help with avoiding missiles, but just basic flying maneuver. Now let's talk about a controlled stall. Um, there's two ways you can do this. One, you can just cut the engine. Zero. Now zero thrust will eventually start to decrease altitude are right now. Engine speed will go low. Um, technically, as we consider a stall, I can want to turn the engine off. And now you can actually do gliding in Arma. Um, if you're not used to gliding, this is something you need to practice. It's not really what you do here in flag, but um, it is an interesting component that's built into the game. We're going to go ahead and turn our engine back on. And we're going to do a controlled stall by <clears throat> flying, and then we're going to go straight up into the air and cut our engine, um, cut the thrust to our engine. And essentially, um, we'll burn out our vertical speed, and the bird will actually flip over and go straight down at the ground. It's an interesting maneuver. Very basic. So we'll go ahead and try that. Second here, let's get a little more altitude. Crash into the ground. As we can see, like, speed is relatively fine. It's going down a little bit because we're going high. We have a, a steep ascension angle. We're gaining altitude over a thousand meters. So this is this is fine. We're going to go ahead and build ourselves all the way back up. Yeah, we're between both 50s. We're going 20 off. You see our speed is starting to slow down. I'm going to go ahead and cut the engine point down to zero speed. Let's hold S. Sometimes it'll flip backwards. And sometimes it will flip forward. And we'll be going straight down now without any... Um, and then obviously turn the engine on. Going. And you can do your dip. Um, so just basic maneuver. Up in the stand. You can do that with trying to hit a target, right? Maybe you don't hit it directly you're going on. There's no way to hit a threat. Go straight into the side, into the sky. Go straight up at the engine. Let it flip you down and then turn the engine on and fire whatever rockets you have done on your target. Basically. Um, so yeah, that will conclude this tutorial.